Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. You fooled fool me with the body, man. You fooled me with the body, man. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I had you, Lord. You know, it's the body, man. Like I said, you know, Mike is a true champion, a true warrior. You know, he brought the best out of me. I brought the best out of him, and he came on victorious. Yeah, you definitely also brought the best out of me. You fought very well. You know, you gave me a good fight, and you made me work. So I congratulate you on your performance also. Thanks. Okay, I think we have a question right there from Lance Buckmeyer from the LA Times. Mikey, congratulations. Um, this fight, how does it lend itself to a, a possible move up to welterweight against Spence? What, what did you take from tonight that pro really proves that point? Oh, well, I always look for the biggest challenges. I'm looking for the biggest fights. You know, ever since I came back, I wanted to, in a way, make up for the last time. And I don't think there's any other way except fighting the best champions out there. We fought another undefeated fighter, undefeated champion. Tonight, there's no one else that excites me enough, that motivates me, and that can challenge me, other than Errol Spence. And I'm willing to take that challenge all the way up just because that's the fight that I want. That's the fight that will motivate me the most. Hey, Mikey, back here. Mikey, straight back. Hey, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, when you talk about Errol Spence, he came over and he spoke to some of us at ringside after the fight, and uh, we asked him what he thought about it. And when he was concluding his remarks, he said he was licking his chops. Uh, you know, he gave you respect for being a, a, a top-notch fighter, but it seemed like he didn't think that, that your size would translate to where he's at. Um, what do you think about the fact that you're both tremendous fighters, but that he's so much bigger than you? No, that's, that, that's a challenge. You know, I am moving up all the way to welterweight. You know, if I land that fight, It'll be my first attempt at, at Walterway, and I'm going against the top guy there, against the, the best in the division. I'm prepared to take on that challenge. Like I said, I'm here to challenge myself, you know, and he is the best. He might feel that it's, you know, an easy fight for him when I'm too small. You know, well, that's, that's fine. You know, let's, let's get in the ring and let's get to work. I'd like to ask Robert Garcia about that also. Robert, I know that you've had, uh, in past statements, had some misgivings about the prospect of Mikey going up to welterweight. Can you expound on that now that it seems though it's going to probably become a reality at the end of this year? Look, we've always uh, said that uh, we shouldn't move too fast and, and, and take that challenge right now because you know, we're doing great at, uh, at lightweight and even uh, junior welterweight, but uh, that's what Mikey wants. And uh, we know that, uh, he does have the skills, he has, he has the time to compete. You know, it's not gonna be easy. And uh, Mikey said before, you know, he he like you know, he, he loves those challenges and uh, this, this will probably be the, the first fight that he's ever had where he's gonna be the underdog and I think that's what's gonna motivate him even more. That's so why he hold on one second. So I'm, I'm I'm you know, from now on, we're 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 gonna take the fight. Just give it up for Robert Easter, he's leaving. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.